What's up fam? So today we're gonna to be talking about safe DeFi projects, where maybe you should put your money, maybe where you shouldn't. It just really depends on your risk tolerance, but we're gonna go over those different levels of risk tolerance right now. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel, smash like button, like button and ring that notification bell. And we actually have a cloudy, rainy day today, so the lighting's a little bit better, but let's get right into it. So um, if you were to invest in Binance, Binance coin or the smart chain is a very, very stable project. It's obviously its own blockchain. But as you get further away from the actual project itself, like Binance, you're going to run into a little bit of a uh, few issues. So like PancakeSwap, very high safe project that uh, has over like $6 billion staked in liquidity. It's one of the largest DeFi projects out there, and it's one of the safest. But then you start getting outside of that and you look at Bunny. Bunny is another project that has, is doing big things. They have 650 uh, million locked in, which is uh, growing quite substantially. They've been doing pretty well. I've had about seven grand locked in here at one point. I took it out to do some other things but I'm definitely going to be investing in this project long-term. Definitely think it's a safer project. Uh, and then you get into uh, a, a step further, which is Honey, which is kind of a take from Bunny and PancakeSwap. So they have 27 million. I did a video on this when it was at 34 cents. Um, I said it would raise to about $1.20, which it did. It actually raised at, I think, $1.91 at one point. And then we've been having these pullbacks and it's down to 51. I actually uh, bought at 34 cents, uh, bought again at, I think, 64 cents. I sold at around $1.71, and then I just recently bought back in. Not a lot at all. I have barely put any money into this recently. I'm gonna be putting more money into this as a, uh, a not a lotto ticket, but more of a unsafe, uh, investment not I'm not gonna invest in shit coins but I'll definitely invest in some of these smaller DeFi projects um, in case their uh, their coin actually goes up at one point pancake bunny was up to I believe $200 um, it's down to 15 um, so if I could definitely see this going back up to maybe three dollars maybe five dollars uh, in uh, the next bull run so I will be accumulating bunny uh, honey bunny and more cake, obviously cake being uh, the safest bet. Um, as far as when you get into like say an Ethereum project, you really don't have too many options when it comes to Ethereum as a DeFi project. It's just um, more of a swapping project. They don't really have, I mean, they, you can provide liquidity, but you're gonna look, uh, look into impermanent losses. If we look at some pools that, um, Uniswap has and their popular pools um, for liquidity. A lot of people, they're at like very little percentages. So um, it's just because the gas fees are so high, maybe with a layer two solution coming up, um, it will be a way to uh, jump into some of these projects where they're doing proof of uh, staking versus proof of work and fees might drop and all sorts of things. So we'll definitely see but as of right now, there's really no good DeFi projects. As far as uh, the last one, if we look at, say, uh, Matic, we have um, the whole Matic network, which is Polygon. And so let me see if I can just... There we go. Um, so this is Polygon, previously known as Matic Network. Uh, very fast, faster than I want to say, uh, and cheaper than Binance. Um, but it's very, very uh, great project. I am heavily, not heavily invested, but I, I have quite a bit of money in the Polygon network. I think that it is has a lot of potential, and it's kind of the one no one really knows about yet compared to like Ethereum or, or uh, chain, um, not Chainlink, um, Bitcoin or uh, Binance. I think Polygon is one of those hidden gems that a lot of people are sleeping on. As far as uh, some DeFi projects, you can use QuickSwap to uh, get pools 
uh, and earn rewards for liquidity. So these are just uh, liquidity pools. But if you wanted to take a step further from this, uh, you were looking at more of an aggregator, which is like Adamant, which takes uh, multiple projects like uh, SushiSwap, uh, like um, ApeSwap, and combines them all in one. So some DeFi projects that would be between, say, Adamant and uh, Polygon itself would be like these sushi swaps and these ape swaps. So if we go to sushi.com, you can see that they have quite a bit of pools that you can join. So if we, and they do some lending. So if we look at um, lending, you can see that they lend uh, BNB for BUSD. Um, they have some bento boxes. Um, I want to say they find. So if you wanted something, say, between Adamant and, uh, say, using Polygon, you can look at Ape uh, Swap, which is a kind of like pancake swap. I don't know what kind of fork it is, but there, there's all sorts of different ones. Uh, there's Panther Swap. Um, there is all sorts of different pools. So you just want to make sure that you pick the pool that you know, like, and trust. Some of these other forks, I think, are not as safe. Um, there are, are susceptible to rug pulls and all sorts of different things. Ape and Pancake and Sushi, all of these have been around for a while. So it just really depends on your trust in the project. As far as some pools and farms, so obviously with their, um, their LP tokens, you can earn banana, which is at $1.49 right now, or you can look at their uh, pools and they have single staking pools. So you can earn 121%, 171%. I made the mistake in the past to really focus on the APR. And um, if you're chasing APR, that this doesn't really matter if the price is zero or drops 50% because you won't make that APR with um, if it drops 50%. Uh, I mean, you will make that APR, but your, your return won't be that, that high. So it's important to invest in projects that will stand the, the test of time and are backed by solid like developers. This is why I've kind of stayed away from the more riskier, high yield projects. Um, I just I've learned a quite a bit of lessons from trying to chase this APR and APY and investing in projects that just doesn't that just was a million percent or a billion percent return uh, or APR. So definitely don't chase those. I do have a few uh, very little in uh, adamant. I take took out all my investments out of here because this is like one of the furthest away projects. So like you're having to rely on not only this project to stay up, but the project that uh, say ape swap or W vault or Curve, obviously Curve is a bigger project, or QI. You know, you're, you're, you're taking them one step further away from the project, the original project, was, which was Polygon um, or Matic Network. So it's important to invest in projects that are uh, going to stand the test of time versus actually trying to chase these high APRs. I mean, if we look at just some of these and we go to uh, total APY here, Like some of these projects are getting a thousand, two thousand um, percent. I mean, I've never heard of Chum. Um, this one's getting close to uh, a billion, a million percent. So, 
like some of these projects you're just you're risking losing a lot of money for the price just plummeting because of these APRs and APYs. Um, I'd be happy in a safer project and I, that's why I'm gonna be doing it again is just pulling all my money into uh, auto cake um, and let it auto compound and just let it run for a year. I mean, if this price goes from uh, 10 to 20 and I'm getting 100% APY, uh, I'm getting like, like 400% return really. So uh, just look at safer pools versus uh, continuously chasing after this APY. I've learned that lesson the hard way with things like Iron Finance and uh, Oil Rig and some of these other ones. So I've noticed that if you want to play it safe, 100% uh, APY on a safe project is definitely worth the investment just because of you're not gonna get rug pulled. You're gonna have it stand the test of time and it's just a, a solid project. They're gonna be around for a while. Um, so that's it guys. That's how you find safe projects. Also, I would highly recommend looking at uh, rect.news. It's a good site for where I find all the latest rug pulls and all that. Um, as far as another resource, I find that rug doc is not very I think they're more into the profits versus reporting um, good reports. I don't think they, they do their, uh, their, I guess, risk tolerance as well as they should. I think that some of these things, like low risk, they probably didn't even do any kind of uh, reporting on this. Um, I mean, it's very basic. Uh, and a lot of the projects that we've looked at that uh, were on here have been rug pulled when they were at low risk. So, um, I mean, if we look at, let's see. So yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna go into it, but um, use this, use multiple resources, just don't rely on one uh, source. I, I also use Twitter and Reddit to find projects. So um, be careful, like this lava swap, uh, yeah, oh, see that's something that I've already posted about a few days ago. So they're, they're behind on the times. I'm already reporting. I mean, if we go to my YouTube and we go to Lava, Lava Cake, Rug Floor right here. This was one week ago. So um, that's it guys, until next time. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like, smash, and I'll see you next time.